folks. It is Thursday, May 27th, around 7.30 here. I've just left the road at Damascus uh, into the woods I go. Uh, you might hear a wood thrush from time to time here. Uh, special thoughts go to my daughter, Molly, who's having a surgery today. Uh, so I'll be thinking about Molly the rest of the day. Uh, so it's uh, the weather's really nice. Uh, it's uh, just it's cool, and we're expecting really hot weather though. So it's going to be a challenge. I've got a lot of climbing to do, uh, and after taking a zero day, uh, it'll be. I don't know, it's gonna be a little hard to uh, get back on track. I uh, have new hiking poles. My, uh, the tip broke off of one of my poles and uh, the, uh, out, one of the outfitters here uh, kindly donated these for me. Fig finally figured out how to adjust the straps this morning. And uh, so we're good there and uh, Paula has uh, ordered a or is ordering a new hip belt so the one I have now is uh, kind of at the end of its rope and it uh, doesn't cinch tightly enough around my hips to uh, let the pack ride mostly on 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 the hips so um, that'll be uh, we'll, we'll send that uh, hip belt up the uh, up to a hostel, you know, up to pick up a week from now. And uh, that's about it for, for right now. Um, looking forward to getting back on trail. Uh, I don't have Ken with me anymore. He's, uh, he's gone home to attend to wedding uh, preparation for his daughter. So I'm gonna miss, uh, gonna miss you, Ken. And, uh, Wow, you can hear the trucks. The, the road here is just really busy with truck traffic. And so I don't know where, where they're all going. Um, so that's about it. I will we'll, uh, check back with you later as I progress up the trail. A massive black snake just scared the daylights out of me. He just surprised me. I happened upon him. I can see him down there. Do you see him? I mean, he's a good snake, but it just scared me. It surprised me. I, he was on the trail. I gotta be more attentive, man. There he is. He's down, right down there. <laughs> Carry on, little fellow. Big fellow. God, he was big.
So what's the name of this shelter? It is the... Lost Shelter? Lost Shelter. The Lost Shelter. It's inhabited by a very healthy looking black snake and two it's probably them. two of them. Yeah, two. Lost Mountain. Uh, How are you doing? I'm alive. Nice, better than not being. I'm protecting the food from a bear. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at the two black snakes up here, mating. You should eat them. <laughs> are they the snaky kind of snakes? Oh, uh, they're real snakes. They're the ones that eat rats and mice. And... Oh, so God. they're friends. Oh, yeah. oh, that's the other one. This is Snake City. Hello folks, uh, I am making my home uh, here in the woods behind Lost Mountain Shelter. And that's the shelter somewhere back there. There you see it. And uh, that's where we found the snakes uh, copulating up on the wall. <laughs> uh, at least that's what we think is happening there. So that was an interesting thing to observe and I think they're still going at it. Um, so my shelter looks like so. Um, the weather is just about perfect. I'm guessing about 75 degrees and um, very little wind at the moment. We are expecting some rainy weather in the next day or so. So the wonderful run of dry weather is coming to an end. Uh, just after I've sent my rain jacket home, I have a poncho. Uh, if it's a cold rain, then I might be kicking myself for sending the rain jacket. But uh, it's nice having less weight in the pack. I sent all my winter undergarments and gloves and just things that were unnecessary or that I hardly ever use. The umbrella, it's, it's on the way home. So... Um, it was nice hiking today with a reduced weight pack. So um, distance wise, did about 16.7 from the Broken Fiddle Hostel. Um, stopped for a brief lunch, which consisted of uh, a couple of bars, the Snickers bar and a, um, an Adkins bar. So now I'm gonna make some uh, some dinner, probably pepperoni roll up with uh, using uh, tortilla as as my bread. Okay, that's it for today, and I will get back to you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I am packed up and on the trail. It is 7 a.m. Friday, May 28th. And wow, I thought it was going to, I thought it was raining on me during the night and it might, may have been, but, uh, it might have been the dew also, but I'm, I'm glad I put my tarp up because I heard the pitter-patter of water dropping on the tarp during the night. 
Uh, I skipped breakfast. I think I'll stop up ahead uh, in a couple hours and have coffee and uh, Pop-Tart. <laughs> I, uh, I call them my scones, but uh, anyway, uh, today uh, could be Grayson Highland Day. So that's pretty exciting. That's uh, <clears throat> within reach. It's about 17 miles or so. So um, I'm going to see how it goes. There's, yeah, the shelters in this uh, particular stretch are really separated by distance. They're really spread out, like some crazy distance, like 20 miles. So, um, well, I mean, the next shelter is is like 12 miles, and then after that, it's like 20 something. So, and let's see, what else is new? I broke my tripod this morning, so I need to get a replacement for that, and that's about it. I'm going to get to hiking, and I will get back to you later on. do we have here oh my goodness we have a cow patty machine hey hey there fella missus I should say there's a fellow <laughs> Grass is tall. How you doing, miss? Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> this is a great scene. Just came in, came out of the woods into this pasture. They are chowing down. Upward to Buzzard Rock we go. I hear it's a tough climb with false summits. Oh, we got some babies here. Hey, baby. Oh, it can't be too old. Just a few months. Hi. Is that cute or what? Okay, Buzzard Rock. 1,700 foot ascent with false summits. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> I'm hoping to have uh, service up there because I haven't had service for a long time. leaving Buzzard Rock, which was a big long climb to reach this morning. And uh, the, the fog was amazing when I got up here and then the fog lifted. And, uh, the view is just really nice. Let me get up over the hill here so give you a, an example. So this is, I don't know which direction is which. I think this is probably the east. And uh, you see the gray clouds moving in. I've come down from the hill. This is, uh, those are a couple of through hikers on the rocks up there. And uh, gosh, I 
guess this is the west. Anyway, it's uh, just really pretty. So onward we go toward the uh, Grayson Highlands. Uh, the trail, I think, goes uh, over in this direction into the trees. And the Grayson Highlands are about 10 miles from this location. So uh, uh, we'll see if I stop before that and uh, save that for tomorrow uh, because there's a shelter about seven miles from from here and it's going to be raining by the time I get there. Uh, maybe not, uh, maybe I can luck up. So uh, that's an update and I will talk to you a little bit later. white feathers sticking in the back, kind of like a mockingbird. Nah, he's not a mockingbird. Right now, he's a ground dweller, feasting on the flower seeds. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Well, this is uh, kind of how I always picture the Virginia Highlands. Rainy, windy. Actually, the wind is let up right now. And the rain has abated just a little, well, has abated all again altogether. For a while there, it was coming down pretty good. So, it's a very pretty bald here. Pass, I mean, it should be pasture land. Lots of flowers all yellow. See the fog up there? This side, the flowers have all gone to seed. Okay, onward. I've got another four or five miles to reach the first shelter, at which point I'll make a decision stopping or continuing. Probably I'll stop because of the rain. Okay, check back with you in a, in a while. Folks, uh, I think I'm going to make this place home tonight. It's uh, just about point one from the shelter here at, uh, I forget the name, something knob shelter. Uh, the weather is looking very ominous. 
uh, and I've been searching this area of uh, fir trees. There's a lot of dead trees, like there's one right there. Uh, if the, I don't think it can get me here if, it, if the wind shifted and uh, blew this direction. Uh, at the moment, it's blowing away from me. Well, you can see how it's blowing, and I, I don't know if you can hear this or not. So uh, I'm going to get busy setting up my hammock. Uh, I'm going to be setting up for uh, a good thunderstorm tonight. So uh, tarp close to the ground, hammock close to the ground, and we'll see how it goes. I hope everybody has a, a nice evening, and I will talk to you in the morning. Well, we wake birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Hey folks, uh, this is what I'm waking up to Saturday, May 29th Just coming out of the hammock And we had quite a storm overnight It's all wet on the outside uh, It's foggy You cannot see Grayson Highlands through the fog, so it's crazy. It was windy, and I was just praying that uh, the stakes would would hold. The wind was coming from the other side, so let's go take a look at how they fared. Uh, yeah, it looks like they did okay. They were they were being held by the these shock cords and that was the concern that the shock cords might break had these pullouts it held okay without the pullouts I don't know I might might have gotten wet on that side so um, I guess I got to get busy uh, packing this mess up I'll take the uh, <clears throat> hammock out first and then remove the tarp so I don't get the hammock all wet. And uh, I stayed dry, I stayed warm, and um, so I, I call this a win. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna get busy and I will check back with you later. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. There's a baby pony. And that looks like mom and pop. They're giving themselves a lick down. Oh, look at the, the baby scamper over there. I wish I could zoom in. I've got wrong setting for that. Let's see if I can get close. There's more back there. Oops. We have these two lovebirds. so cute. Probably getting some bugs off of each other. Okay, way to go guys. Hope you don't come over here to do this to me. reached the Grayson Highlands and the Wild Ponies and it's foggy but it's at least it's not raining which I'm very happy about. Oh, are you kidding me? 
<laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> Feel better now? All right. Well, that was a treat. Okay, well, I have a long way to go, like 1,500, 1,800 miles, I don't know, I've lost count. So, onward I go north on the Appalachian Trail. On the other side of the squeeze, and uh, there are ponies over here. folks um, I'm bringing this 16 mile hiking day to an end at this campsite um, it's near a stream which you might be able to hear in the background I'm gonna set up my hammock between this tree and the far tree over there let's see if I can make that work there go my poles uh, it's raining a little bit, so I'm going to try my first attempt at setup 
in the rain without getting anything wet. Um, the, the first time is not going to work the way I want it to because there's a uh, waterproof bag deep in my backpack that I want to move to a more accessible place. So, uh, all in all, it's been a great, uh, great hiking day. I'm sick of rocks, to be honest with you. It's like what I envisioned Pennsylvania to be. Uh, but toward the end, it uh, got, it turned into uh, dirt and pine straw the way I like it. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, we saw the, uh, the Grayson ponies, Grayson Highland ponies. Um, met some kids from Michigan um, at a shelter a few miles, maybe five miles back, and uh, it was real nice talking to those kids, uh, men and women. So um, then I hiked. I could have stayed there, but I wanted to get a little more mileage before the end of the day because I'm starting to feel the... Uh, Katahdin deadline of, uh, let's say it's October 1st. It's really October 15th, but we want to finish up by October 1st. Just in case uh, bad weather causes that uh, Baxter State Park to close early. Okay, so that's it for me. I'm going to set up now and uh, I'll let you know how that goes. Hey everyone, it is 8 p.m. here. I have just completed setup of my hammock uh, with it raining and I give myself about a C minus, maybe a D plus. Uh, well, this was a difficult setup because I'm on a steep hillside. So, um, and there were a lot of roots and rocks for the stakes. So that caused uh, some issues and anyway it is set up and I am still dry and my uh, gear is still dry so um, it's it's not a total bust <laughs> okay so um, that's it for tonight I'm going to eat a little dinner and then try to work on some videos hopefully um, and uh, then I'll see you in the morning.